All right, so the graph of y equals mx plus b. I love the mx plus b. Now remember, y equals mx plus b. This is our slope. This is our y-intercept. Okay, not a big deal. What's the value of m? Well, all we have to do is get our two points. Now we can see we go over one on the x and we go up two on the y. So this is one, two, and then we go over another one on the x and we go up two more on the y, right? So this is two, four. Fine, so our rise from the two to the four is two, our run is one, so rise over run equals two, which means m equals two. Same thing down here, let's find our points. We go back two, right, so this is a negative two, and then we go up two, so it's a negative two positive. This one, we go over two, and then we go down two, negative two. So from this point to this point, right, the first guy here to the second guy here. We're gonna go from negative two to positive two, that's up four, and we're gonna go from positive two all the way to negative two, that's negative four, which means m equals negative one when we reduce. No big deal. This guy, same thing, okay, let's find our points. We go back two, so we have negative two as our first, and then we go down two, right? So again, negative two, negative two, this is point one. Fine, point two is over one, fine, so point two, if we want to write it out like this, is one and then down one. Okay, no big deal. So what do we do? We go from negative two to negative one. That's up one. And then we go from negative two to positive one. That's up three. So our m equals one third. Let's hammer this one, baby. We go back one, two, three. So p1 equals negative three. And then down one, negative one. All right, p2 is... We go back one here and then up one to right there. So we go back one and up one. Fine. Well, what we do here from this point, from P1 to P2, we go from negative one to positive one. That's up two. Oh, snap. And we go from negative three to positive, excuse me, negative three to negative one. That's another up two. Up two, right? So our M is going to equal two over two. So our M equals one. Beautiful stuff here. Last one, then we'll be done for the day. Good job this week. Graph, great. This is our point one. So P1 equals back two. So we have negative two and then down one. Negative one, fine. P2 equals one, two, fine. And then one, two, three, down three. Okay, so from negative one to negative three, right? Boom to boom. We're going down two. And from negative two to positive two, we go up four. That's a plus, not a T. So that means M equals negative two over four, which means M equals negative one half. Good stuff, people.